Is it just me, as it seems like, tornadoes in the news more than they used to be? Yeah. I mean, every week there's a tornado somewhere. Of course, I'm from tornado country. I live in Georgia. And I know there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of tragedy, we hate to see it on the news. But I got this theory I've come up with after a lifetime of watching news coverage or tornadoes. I believe there's a conspiracy to make those of us who live in tornado country to look ignorant on TV. <laughs> Don't you find it odd that after thousands of tornadoes, thousands of destroyed homes, over the years, they never can interview anybody that's been to the dentist. <laughs> you have never seen on the evening news a tornado victim from a trailer park in a three-piece suit, <laughs> a monogram shirt, going, yes, this was rather devastating. A tree fell on the Lexus. <laughs> and there's quite a bit of rubble in our hot tub. <laughs> I believe with all my heart that when a tornado hits, the news director at the local TV station, he tells his reporter, get out to the trailer park and interview a dumbass. <laughs> and try to find one who's married to a fat woman. <laughs> and hey, listen, have you noticed that the, the, everything's, complete, everything's destroyed except for the produce signs? <laughs> and the camera zooms in on that. Tomatoes for sale. <laughs> Spelled with an R. 45 cents a pound are two pounds for a dollar. <laughs> now the whole world knows we can't spell and hell we can't add either. <laughs> and here's the couple they interview. The husband, the head of the household, he's always real sickly, I mean, be looking. Real frail, like 112 pounds. <laughs> 108 without the belt buckle. <laughs> Wearing a John Deere cap. Got that out of the way. He's got a tattoo on a wooden arm. It's so funny. He saw a sign at the mall, tattoo it while you wait. He said, hell, I ain't got to wait. <laughs> got a tire gauge in his pocket. That's in case the trailer don't seem level. <laughs> and he's wearing a key ring with two pounds of keys. What the hell is that all about? There's only three doors in this man's life. Truck, trailer, and tool shed. Now there says this to his wife. His wife, God bless her, weighs 400. That's Wearing those tight, tight <laughs> polyester pants. You know, little irrigation ditches in that. Oh. Why? Why do they wear that? Don't they know how that looks? I know they're fat, but hell, they're not blind. How can a 400 pound woman put on tight polyester pants, then look in a mirror and go, all right. <laughs> a 
and she's always wearing <laughs> I just thought of this, I'm gonna throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> She's always wearing flip-flops. <laughs> because she thinks her feet are her best feature. <laughs> and sadly, she's right about that. <laughs> ah. And she's always wearing a beeper. Let me tell you all about fat people and beepers. They should wear the old kind of beeper, the one that made a noise. They got these modern high tech ones now, they don't make a noise, they simply vibrate. Well trust me on this. If you weigh 400 pounds, you're missing calls. <laughs> You'll feel something, you'll just think you sweat. You know? <laughs> and what does the guy always say about the tornado? I thought it was a freight train. <laughs> There's not a railroad track within a hundred miles. <laughs> but this rocket scientist, <laughs> thinks the locomotive just made a left into his driveway. <laughs> Folks, look, I am, I am not the smartest guy in the world. But I can tell you this, if I was sitting in my den at home and just thought, just thought, that there's a train somewhere near my mailbox, my fight ass would be out of there. Let me give you a little tip too. You remember a few years ago when the tornado went downtown Nashville, Tennessee? It went right downtown. Tornadoes just don't go downtown. <laughs> and to make sure that never happens where you live, here's what you need to do. On the outskirts of your city, put up a decoy trailer park. <laughs> That'd be like cheese in a trailer. <laughs>